What is up guys, it's Soul Bash. We are back with Tai Chi Panda Heroes and we're gonna take a look at some of the instances that they have, namely the treasure instances. Now there are three types of treasure instances that they have. You have the gold instances, elite, and survival. Now they all give something different. Gold obviously is gonna give you gold. The elite instances are items and some runes. So those are different and the survival are mostly experience pills and runes. So depending on the difficulty that you want to try it at, uh, you should be able to do these every day and they do have a double income from them. So you can do that. Now these right here, the gold instances, if you're worried about, you know, having to do the maze at low level or the fighting at the higher level, you don't have to really worry about that because they do swap difficulties. I've seen them in both different places, so they do swap up. Uh, we're going to do the difficulty, uh, the third star, and kind of show you what it is. This is a very complicated one, actually. Uh, now you see this guy's got an orange little glow to him. You got to get this guy up here. Oh, I think we just hit the wrong button. You got to get him up there. Okay, only the orange guy is going to explode there, so... We have blue here. Okay, here's a blue guy. No, he's yellow. Okay, here's the blue guys. And you can kick them a long ways. We got him over there. There's yellow. Oh, there's a blue right here. Go ahead and kick him in there. Yellow, get him across there. Got him. These two oranges. Uh, okay, we got two oranges out, so we're going to go up here last minute. Oh, we're too far away. That doesn't work. Okay. Nobody close. Both of you are yellow. See how difficult this is, guys? It's very confusing, and it's hard to decipher the colors on them sometimes, so you have to, you know, pay very close attention to it. We got 179,000 gold. It's not bad, considering that how terrible we actually did at it right there but once you get used to how to do it it gets a little bit easier now the other ones we have elite instances uh, difficulty the more bosses you kill the better the rewards you will have uh, we're gonna do the top difficulty so I can go ahead and start going for the areas of sorcerer staffs so we're gonna enter it And here we go basically all this is is boss fights you have I believe it's I think it's 12 bosses and they all spawn in different places as you see this one started up here the next one's gonna spawn right around here you know they're gonna go in a uh, counterclockwise spawning motion so the next one's gonna be right here and so forth so the further you go around you're gonna have to go around the whole circle so this next guy should be right here and it does not always go this quick. I've actually got characters finally beeped up a little bit for my level. And it just continues on. They do start getting very difficult. Um, like, like I said, I did this when I didn't have any of this stuff from topping up. And it was actually quite tough. Uh, especially at a little bit lower level as well. Ginormous Dragon right here. He's going to have a little bit more hit points. And next... And you have three minutes to do this in, by the way. So the quicker you kill them, the more chance of you getting more items out of this. Because if you don't kill them all, you still win the victory of it. But you don't get all the items from all the bosses. You just get the items that you killed from bosses. If that makes sense. Now we should have like three left. Uh, when I go back and uh, do it in post, I'll put a number up to count how many bosses we actually did kill in here. That way we do know. And I'll just throw it up uh, in the bottom left corner. Alright, we should have another one here. Yeah, and they're starting to get a little bit more hit points. He's just about dead though. And the last one should be right here. Nope, that's it. Okay. All right. And these are all the rewards that we got from doing this one instance. Uh, it's basically a treasure trove of shards that you can do daily. 
Now you could have doubled those rewards as well, but I'm going to do the double reward on this last one here. The survival instance. And we're gonna go for the difficult one because that's where the large experience pills are at. Oh, uh, we didn't buy double income. Ah. So I just messed that up, but here we are. The basically survival stuff just continuously spawns. You have one minute to complete all of this. And just the more you kill, the more stuff you get. You see the items are actually dropping from them. So you actually have to kill as many. Just because you survive doesn't mean you get a whole lot of rewards from it. So just the more you kill in it, the better reward you'll get. And we seem to do be pretty good. We still got 20 seconds left. Now is when a lot of the guys start flooding in and you can start killing them a lot faster and getting more stuff. The last 10 seconds get really chaotic because they're just everywhere. I, I can't even keep up with them myself. You can go bore it. Use our other skill. And time's up. When time's up, you actually can still shoot them, but I don't think you're going to get the rewards. I'm not sure. Like, I'm still running around in the background, as you can tell. But I can't attack. So we got 10 large experience pills and a couple of runes. Would have got more if I would have did double loot on it. But these are just some of the treasure instances that you can do. Uh, the other ones are a little bit different as well. Uh, like the the maze right there. I'll have to show you that later on. And these are all pretty much the same. It's just different monsters spawn here in just different maps. And the elite instances, it's just the difficulty of the bosses that spawn. Uh, that's the only difference between those. If you have any questions about how any of that works, it explains everything right here. You have to be level 13 before you can do it. Alright guys, I believe that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also, don't forget to claim your stuff from doing treasure instances. You get gold and experience. So, it's always nice. Keep it locked right here. Leave a like if you like this video, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.